My lovely, beautiful, amazing subscribers, and everybody in between, and yes, you, I'm watching you, that new person who's watching this video. Stick around, I promise, you might be disappointed. Anyway, welcome back to the beautiful, wonderful uh, Storm Silver Randomizer. Not Randomizer. Storm Silver Nuzlocke. Storm Silver. Storm Silver Nuzlocke run. I can't talk today. Um, while training everybody up, we essentially got a little bit higher in level. I do. Po oh wait, <laughs> I forgot to turn lower the uh, FPS. Anyway. Uh, I got beaten to level 13. I felt like that was a comfortable area because I really don't know what we have in store. Oh, yeah. Bean, le Bean learned cursed. Um, blue still blue. SBR is the same. Everybody's the same. Oh, Pedro learned psych up. I thought it was better than splash, so. And I think that's about it. Like I said, the highest level in the gym is about level 15. So um, I also made sure to run around the area and make sure that there was nobody to give me free stuff. And, um... When I said that mom was no use, I uh, definitely lied because she gave me a super potion. So I got two of those now. I went and bought some more potions. I don't think I need any more antidotes or poison heals. So um, let's just go into it. I don't think that we'll... I'm kind of scared. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm not kind of scared. I'm extremely scared. I don't know what to expect with this Faulkner gym battle. And I really don't know what, how or what's going to happen. So, I'm just going to go with my gut and go with the best team that I have, which is literally the only team I have. And just go from there, because Pedro... Pedro's probably my hardest hitter with Psybeam. And I think Psybeam's like 65, I think. Or something along those lines. But I mean, like, Pedro's one-shotting these guys. So, I really don't fear too much about this part of the gym. I fear about the big man himself. I mean, that's all I really think about lately, is, uh, sometimes I just sleep at night and I just imagine Faulkner, and I'm like, ah! It's just terrible. I can't really handle much else. Any more shock to my body, and I'll probably cry myself to sleep. Wait, I already do that. Then what would happen? I don't know. But we are going to just breeze through the plan is to beat the gym or at least attempt to and then from there we're gonna just i think head towards dark cave i think union cave that cave you know the cave i'm talking about and i'm just gonna rely solely on pedro well not solely on pedro because it's pedro but hopefully by the time i get to faulkner beans will be like I'm aiming level 16, not 16, I'm aiming level 13, not 13, I'm aiming level 15, like what we have right now, everybody's going on in like straight 15, and if Beans can get to that level, 14, not bad Beans, not bad, so if we can just keep this up, then I think we'll be alright, I know that we could skip all of Faulkner's like gym, bod gym buddies, but I think the experience would really go well with them. Um, beans because I don't know what we're going to have to deal with and being afraid for our lives versus getting a little bit of extra experience oh my gosh Taylor why did you float like that what is wrong with you are you okay do you need help because that was actually the title of our directing showcase it was called we need help I thought it was funny apparently not many other people did that's okay not a big deal in my book, you know? But anyway, guys, so uh, as I was talking about last episode, Minecraft. I promise I'm not joining the bandwagon. I just really didn't know what else to play. And I was thinking Slime Rancher because I've actually had a lot of fun with that and my girlfriend bought me that game. But I was like, I've already played Slime Rancher just in person, like for myself. And I don't really know because of the way that I play these game, those kinds of games. It's kind of harder for me to, like, maintain that kind of, like, Hello, everybody! Welcome to the brand new series! Blah, 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 blah! I just kind of stay quiet and I focus. 
and there's really not much else that I can do to like make it more entertaining, you know? I just want to be more. Oh my sweet mother of lord, um, Ember should kill it, so it's not that big of a deal. But I like being genuine. Not to say that people that are like high energy aren't genuine, but that's not me, you know. It it kind of just doesn't feel genuine for me because it's not exactly who I am. And that's all I really mean when I say that. I don't really have a problem with anybody being over the top energetic. And I'm always, by the way, if anybody's watching, I'm always down for collabs. So just hit me up. <laughs> because I don't really know what to do with the rest of my time. And I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed on Wednesday, the 21st. I think I mentioned that last episode. I don't remember. I just kind of record. I press the button and I just open my mouth. And whatever comes out, comes out. It's not exactly always phenomenal, but it's definitely something. Before we even face this man, we need to heal up. Also, I'm going to start with SBR because in reality, this is the t these top four people right here are probably the only Pokemon that I'm going to end up using. Because let me tell you, Flanagan, Flanagan, you're beautiful and I love you, Flanagan, but you're really not going to be in much use because unless like through some unholy magic, does one of his Pokemon not have a flying type move? I highly doubt that you're going to be a lot of use in all reality, but that's okay. Ooh, I know what I could do. Ooh, that would be a great idea. I'm actually a big fan of that. Maybe. I don't know yet. I have to figure out my whole, like, um... My whole recording setup. And basically... I use OBS, and I love OBS. I just really don't know how to, like, fix it up, you know? I'm going to the Bellsprout Tower when I'm not supposed to be going to the Bellsprite Tower. Sprite? Bellsprite? Bellsprite. But, yeah, the point is, is that... I don't know. But, okay, ladies and gentlemen. I've been fearing this day. One, two, three, four. Y'all are my... Y'all are my aces. We got this. Hello, Faulkner. Old man told me to come here, so. Yes, Faulkner, I understand. You're afraid of having your birds beaten down by a Mareep. A little sheep. A little beep beep, I'm a sheep, man. I understand that I'm challenged by you, Faulkner, but you really don't have to do this. Yes, I understand you have a Doduo. Well, a Doduo is nothing in the face of a steel ball run. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Part 7, a.k.a. I've heard good things about Part 7, but I haven't really read much into it. I'm on the part where Johnny figures out Hummel, if I'm not mistaken. And that's about it. That's about as far as I got. Which I think is only like Chapter 11, and Steel Ball Run's like 200 and something, I think. I think. I could be wrong. I love JoJo's. I'm just... I've just been busy. And I can never find a good... A copy of Steel Ball Run. And even when I go to, like, um, Books a Million, they never have Part 7. They have Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, some of Part 4, and that's about it. Like, I, like, I, they have 5 and 6 occasionally, but, but more likely it's just Parts 1 through 4. And I think that's just because, like, but it has the beautiful cover. Like, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about when I'm talking, when I say, like, that that good cover, that hard cover. It's beautiful. Also, Beans Ominous Wind, yes. Are you kidding me? Ominous Wind is beautiful. Get rid of Lick. I don't need Lick anymore. Ominous Wind, yes. I mean it's strong, but it's a Murkrow. Frickety frackety nickety knackety. Alright, Igneo. Y you're probably our only hope because I believe in you, Igneo. I think you can handle this. Ah, oh, he's level 14. It's kind of scary. Let's see how much an ember does. Okay. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Okay, we should be able to live one more. And then I can super potion up. And then we should be able to... Oh boy. That is scary. <sighs> Alright. I'm aware. But this is the kind of situation that super potions are made for. So, let's just hope, and let's just see. All right, what's he going to go for? 
How much is that going to do? That's about the same amount of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Whew. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. Oh, thank the Lord. All right, Igneal. Hopefully, we won't need you anymore. Pidgeotto. Okay. Pidgeotto. Okay. Pedro. Pedro, my boy. I raised you. You were my last boy. Okay. You and Blue have done phenomenal work. Okay. And I believe in the both of you. And right now, I need you to pull through for me, Pedro. Pedro, you got this, Pedro. Show him. Give him heck, Pedro. That, that, that's okay, Pedro. That's okay. All right. We're going to switch out. We're going to send out SBR. And then we should be able to handle most of what he has to offer. Okay? So, hit yourself, please. Please hit yourself. That's okay. That's okay. We should tank it relatively well. That was a crit. Okay, so we tank, we tank pretty okay. Even with a crit, I accidentally did that. That's okay. That's okay. Yes. Perfect. All right. I. Okay, it's an orange berry. I was afraid it was a citrus berry, and I was scared for my life. But that's okay. Okay. So we're at 17. It does six damage. So we'll su we're potion up, not super potion. We'll just potion up, and then we'll continue our onslaught from here. Because I really think that we have a chance here. Pedro doesn't... He does like a quarter damage, and the only problem is that Pidgeotto is just really tanky. I mean, having a Pidgeotto at this stage, it's kind of scary. But that's okay. So what we'll do is... Confuse Ray... Because you're just going to do 6 damage consistently. So if I confuse you... Because this, this is his ace. This is his ace Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. So, we should be able to live 2 more, but without having to heal up. And if you hit yourself, that would be great. I mean, like, that's the whole reason why I did it. But that's okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And... That was a crit. Oh, my gosh. Yes. All right. So, one more should be able to kill, but I'm banking. Please hit yourself. I need you to hit yourself. Can you do that? Please. Just hit yourself. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I can't bank on two. I cannot bank on two, but if we just confuse Ray again. Not confuse right. If we confuse again, that's why I said we can't bank on it. That's okay. That's okay. It's fine. We still have plenty of health. Plenty of health. Of course, confusion misses. That's so. And of course, you snap out of confusion. Oh my gosh, Falconer! I knew that you were going to be scary, but I didn't think you were going to be this scary. I'm just glad that you don't have any potions, because you had like one percent or something like that. Chatot. Um, I don't think we have anybody else, so we're just going to have to potion up again. If I'm not mistaken, Chatot has own tempo, which means that it won't be able to heal. Not heal. It won't be able to be confused. But if we just potion up and just see what he does, because I don't know what, he, what a Chatot's capable of. At least not in this game. Alright, uproar. That's not that, that's not that bad. Let's see how much it does. Okay, so 9 damage. Not bad. Um, I should have bought more potions. Because I was not prepared mentally for this long haul. I don't know if it has own tempo, so that's what we're going to find out right now. And if it does, I'll cry. It doesn't have own tempo, which is good. Um, I'll put Chatot to sleep. Or at least try to. Because it only does 9 damage each time. Which means that I can do live one more without having to potion up. Well, I can live like two more without having to potion up, but okay, SBR I need you to put him to sleep SBR, look I need you to put him to sleep, okay I need it so just uh, hit yourself or something, yes, that's what I'm banking on alright, put him to sleep okay put him to sleep okay, hit yourself, please, hit yourself 
No, that's fine. That's fine. All right. I I'm pretty much... So, if you guys couldn't already tell, when I panic, I say it's fine. It's not fine. <laughs> but, SBR is the pretty much the guy I'm relying on right now. He's the steel type. I'm surprised that, that Dreano didn't give Faulkner, like, some kind of... Some kind of, like... I don't know. I really don't. Chathot's not using a dark move, which probably means I can safely switch in Bean and then heal people up. But I don't know what Chathot has. He's only using normal type moves. Well, he's only used Uproar so far, and that's pretty much it. I don't know if he has Pursuit. I don't know what he has. I think Chathot's a special attacker. So we'll put we'll reconfuse him. We only have five more confuse rays, so we need to be careful and sparing on those if we can. Because I can't play the long haul with uh, Faulkner, because I will run out of potions and I will run out of things. So let's just—he's confused, and let's just see how much a confusion does. Because I think he's just done that much damage. Yeah, he's only hit himself twice out of all those moves. So let's just see how much damage we do. Definitely about the same as Chaton hitting himself. So if Chaton hits himself... Of course not. Alright, so then... That's fine. He's causing an uproar. SBR? Did your accuracy drop or something? Because if I'm not mistaken... Confusion's 100% accuracy. And... That's actually mattering right now. <laughs> Come on, Chatot. Okay, that was 8 damage that time. So, min max, min is 8, max is 9. So, I can hit. You can hit me twice, and I'll still live. So, I should be able to take you out. That's at least my, my thought process. So, min is 8, max is 9. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Perfect. Great. You switched in Chatot, which means that your next Pokemon and your other Pokemon probably don't have any dark... So, blue. Um... I really don't have anybody. All right, Bean. I'm going to need you to come in and come in clutch for me, okay, Bean? Because I don't know what I ha what we have in stock. So, do we have anything that we can use? No. Okay, so what we can do is we can... We're going to Super Potion on SBR and just see what you have to do. All right, so you have Aerial Ace. Well, that seems to be your only move. So, I'll switch in SBR. And then we'll go from there. Because I think, I think, if I remember correctly, I know what his last Pokemon is. Which means I can only really use two... No, no, I'm fine. I can only, I can use two and three. So I can use two Confuse Rays on this Pokemon, and then I can use three on the next one. Because the next one is the one I'm afraid of the most. Because it got an update and it got it got powerful, okay? It's a powerful boy. And I'm scared of a powerful boy. That's fine. That does like no damage. That does like no damage. Yeah, we're in the we're in here for the long run. Alright, so Confuse Ray only did like three to five damage. So min three max five. Okay, crit. Thank you, Steel Ball Run. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, that's fine. So far, we're living. We're out here. We're living. Excuse me. All right, one more, and we'll be good. I had to switch out so I could get rid of that accuracy drop. I don't remember when that happened. But Steel Ball Run. Oh my gosh. Steel Ball, you're saving my life here. Farfetch'd, the Pokemon I was afraid of. I don't know what it's going to do. 
but I do know that it was changed. The wind is finally with you. It's really not. Okay. I know for a fact that you changed from normal flying to fighting flying. That's right. So, we should just be able to handle this on our own. Did Steel Ball run carry? You might ask yourself. The answer is yes. He did. He carried very hard. And I don't think he can do enough damage to knock us out, so if we just go for confusion, we should be fine. Yeah, like three damage. We're good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm honestly so glad. I apologize for the extremely long gym battle, but um, under normal circumstances, I would have just, you know, had us beat the gym and then continue moving on. All of my brain power went into that battle, and even if we stalled for a very long time, which I apologize for, we ended up winning the Zephyr Badge, and I think that's what really matters here. Uh, yes, I'm understanding that we can use Rock Smash, and then you'll give me Aerial Ace. I'll see if anybody can learn Rock Smash. I think Charmander can. I'd like to avoid teaching him Rock Smash, if at all possible. Also, why would you give me Roost when you used Aerial Ace the entire time? I don't remember if Dre changed this game so that I can use just whatever a TM or HM, but for now, oh my gosh, 60 power? That's actually not that bad. Yeah, Igneal's able to, so I can't get anybody from the box. That's not how that works. Okay. I'll get rid of Scratch. Versatility in his moveset's really important. Anyway, um, thank y'all for watching. And, uh, I hate birds. <laughs>